when I was on the show, like, you weren't supposed to fight. Like, they had four big security guards, you know, per person. And, you know, because like, there was a scene that's been deleted that never aired <laughs> where I walked up to a girl and didn't say a word to her and I punched her in the face. Wow. And What was that over? So, super long time ago, there was an episode where um, I was the face of this club called Ace of Diamonds in, in Hollywood. Uh-huh. And one of the cast members, Nikki, her parents owned the club. And I was hired to do the, the photo shoot and the billboard and all that stuff. Um, so I had billboards all over in real life on Sunset Boulevard, at, um, in Las Vegas, all over. Uh-huh. And they tried to make an episode where they pretended like they took me off the billboard mm. and put my mugshot from when I got arrested at 19 years old up. Mm-hmm. Now that didn't really happen, but they rented a billboard outside of the boom, boom room, not too far from here where everybody records to put this mugshot up of this fake billboard to make it look like they replaced the billboard. Right. And, you know, again, I wasn't exactly sure what I was walking myself into what the scene was, but they wanted me to walk up to this billboard and meet Nikki there and pretend like she she had the power to get my billboards taken off Sunset Boulevard. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, you've got to be kidding me. Right. You know, so of course they told me what was happening once I pulled up. And they're like, what are you going to do? And I tell them, Mona, I'm probably going to punch her in the face. And she's like, Masika, don't, don't, no, I said, I'm probably going to punch her in the eye. And, and, and I hate to even talk about this, but me and Nikki are cool now. Like, like she just had a, a, a beautiful son, I, I sent her nothing but well wishes, but it, you know, it's history. It's like you were both pro wrestlers. Yes. That's just like part of what right. you do when you're a pro wrestler. It doesn't mean you hate the right. person forever. It's right. just, you're caught up in the moment. Right. Um, so I, you know, the scene comes, she's coming from this and I'm coming from this and I walk up to her and I was just so livid that they tried this. I just, I didn't say anything. I just punched her in the nose. Uh-huh. And I remember Mona said, you said you weren't going to punch her. I said, I, I said, we're going to punch her in the eye. Uh-huh. <laughs> so like they, they had to delete the scene because there was no dialogue. You know, Mona was so furious and she was like, you guys didn't even have a conversation. Like, at least at least talk about it because now it's crazy. You just walked up to the girl and punched the girl right. for no reason. Like, I have to get rid of this scene. I have to make it go away. And, you know, she was like, we're going to dead the billboard. We're going to we shouldn't have did it. Da, da, da. But then some of the other hating ass castmates found out about the scene afterwards, came up, took pictures of it and and posted it. So now the shade room posted it. Now, people actually thought that there was really this billboard. It was a prop for for an episode. Mm. But back then, you couldn't just walk up and hit somebody. You had to do a scene. You had to, do, you know what I'm saying? They tried to they tried to get a conversation at least. Yes, they wanted the drama and they wanted the beef, but and if they wanted more of an educated ignorance. Right. I feel like where we've gone today, I hate to say we've evolved because we're digressing. Now it's just you walk in and people start fighting. What happened? I haven't really watched any of this, You're to be honest. You're missing nothing. Do you, do you keep up on it? No. I only see it because it's on my timeline on Instagram. Right. Like, you can't open your phone without seeing it. I'll see some shit if it goes viral sometimes. And yeah. The, and the, to be honest, the Krishan and Blueface thing has kind of, like, brought me closer to, like, knowing about what's going on on yeah. Zeus, even though I have not actually... I, I want to sign up and actually watch this shit because I hear so much about it, and I listen to some of the clips of academics interviewing the CEO of Zeus, and it was pretty fucking funny to hear him media trained as fuck, just trying to like kind of explain. It's the WWE, <laughs> yeah. you know. Of course, of course, you don't want to get sued, which 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 he's getting sued by plenty of people. He is rightfully so. Apparently, he's like unbelievably rich, so that's probably inevitable. Yeah. So you know, when you know, you you learn how to tell beautiful lies. Right. Ax said he had like fifteen security guards with him. Well, that seems a little excessive to me. It is. I you know, know. I mean, it's kind of like the. Uh, what what is his name? The the Lord. The president. No, the the rapper with the c- color hair. Jeez. Oh, six nine. Kind of like how he used to, to do. That was funny when he was on Melrose with like the most insane security yeah. squad ever. That was so funny. Well, you know when you know that you're intentionally ruining people's lives, right? And you know that you're setting people up for failure so that you can make money off of them. You gotta kind of be scared. I'm not. I can't like really fully past judgment because I am only familiar with like the things that go viral outside of the content on there. So that's what I'm judging based on. But yeah. it, it feels like the Zeus network is like love and hip hop with no adults in the room because it's like, if you <laughs> yeah. just, if you just have a streaming service, 
there's nobody to tell yeah. you not to yeah. do these things. Whereas yeah. if you're VH1 or BET or whatever, they have to follow certain guidelines. Yeah, and they're big corporations, and ultimately, like they have to answer to stockholders and all this kind of shit. So I can right. imagine there's like r things in place to basically make them not do the most extreme exactly. things possible. Even us, we're on YouTube, but if you have your own fucking streaming platform like that, you can really probably exactly. just do whatever. Even right? YouTube, like you said, you, you, there's certain things you can and can't say, can and can't do. You yeah. know. They'll take you down. Right. You know, but yeah, with, with streaming platforms like that, like they'll set you up, you know, unbeknownst to you to have a fight right. and things like that. So, you know, when he was just suggesting that I should be Mother Teresa <laughs> and go frolic like it's where at Woodstock, you know, barefoot and hold hands with, with girls on, on the show. It was just ridiculous to me. Uh -huh. um, you know, I'm not here for that. I, I've, I've passed that. And then, you know, his point was, well, you did it before. Okay, um, I used to use baby powder, and then I found out it gave people cancer, so I stopped. Uh huh. Uh, you know, like there's a lot of things that you may have done at one point in your life that you don't do anymore, and and, and to use the fact that you did it before is crazy. And even the fact that I have done reality TV again, it was not like this. So I was just very confused as to what set him off. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I remained calm, stayed poised, kept my composure. And he was just, in, I don't know if his, his drink had something in it or if the weed was laced, but whatever it was, like, I was so like, what just happened here? <laughs> like, yeah, it was like, are, like, are you in a, in a private relationship with someone on the show? Like, <laughs> he seemed a little frustrated with you throughout it, though. Yeah, I, I didn't get that. I didn't, well, no, I got that energy, but I didn't know where that came from. Right. Um, but a lot of times with men that are narcissists, when they're talking to a level minded woman, who is not acting a, a fool, they don't know what to do. Yeah. And a lot of times when a man feels like he's challenged, whether it's a challenge or not, if his ego sets in and they can't, they can't tame you, they run off. It was kind of, cause like early on, on No Jumper, when Sharp first came here, that was kind of like his thing. Like he would just end up getting in these huge arguments with girls and like <laughs> they would walk out or like, you know, crazy shit. Like, yeah. And it would just go viral all the time. And it, it, it's, it's kind of hasn't happened in a while. Yeah. But it, so that was why that was kind of like a throwback of like, oh, oh okay. Yeah. We, I, haven't, I haven't seen this thing in a while. Yeah. yeah. It was just, it was, it was weird. It was weird. I've never been on a situation where someone walked off their own show. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty rare. But you know, hey, I think he might have done it before, though. Maybe. I just right. haven't seen it. I need everybody to check out NoJumber.com. We officially started a blog. It has in-depth articles about current events, music, etc., plus all of our content in terms of podcasts, interviews, etc. And you can get some exclusive new merch if you check out NoJumber.com. So make sure you tap in.